Nice. All right, please at least spawn on the on the, on the side. This one's. That's all I need. Oh. Okay. Oh, it came back. Nice. Sorry. Oh, prison pendant value. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Now, 15 point gourd. All right. How's it going, guys? Take it to here, and I am back with another banger. Plus, today we're going to be playing, as you can see here, Pew Pew Alzer's Pendant. So, <laughs> it is um, a deck that I came up with. We're going to play. I mean, the idea is it's pretty, um, pretty normal, I would say. Playing Alzer's, and we're playing Vanadine, the um, Waylay Simlas combo. So, you know, I had some ideas on playing a decoy here instead of the South. Um, Aiden Myth. How do you rate this card? People rarely play this card, but I think it's a really good addition to the deck, especially since it's special. It has some carryover aspect to it, and it, it spawns a unit, which, you know, I think synergizes kind of well with Pr Prism Pendant. Because, you know, with Orb of Inside uh, and Prism Pendant, you don't really want to boost one unit because you're getting an extra 6 vitality. So you want to uh, use Orb of Insight on multiple units and, you know, having a one extra unit from the soft Ain Myth. Ain Myth. This is a foreign tongue for me, but yeah. Uh, getting one extra unit from the south is uh, actually kind of good. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say to it. Uh, we're not running um, this, uh, Alyssa. We're not really running Alyssa because, you know, we could have changed only Romancy to Alyssa. But I don't really like the play. Um, like, using Alyssa is it's, it's not really good, right? Because essentially you're sacrificing two cards from your hand to just basically play for 9 points and you're gonna be forced to play Alyssa. Whereas, you know, you could just not play the Waylay and, you know, just, just be fine. Like, if they tempo you, you don't need to worry because, you know, the objective here is just simply to spawn um, extra waylay from the Vanadane to use the, for Simlas. And, you know, if even if you're forced to play the Vanadane, you could just end up using um, Simlas for something like Orb of Insight. But yeah, since we're gonna use Simlas for waylays, we're actually gonna play Orb of Insight from our hand, like two of them. Um, granted, we could also use Arcane Tome or Oniromancy to tour it from our deck if we man uh, if we missed one. But generally, um, you know, just having simply having two Orb of Insight from the Alphan Seer spawn is, um, I think, it's good enough for the Alzer's value because we're playing a lot of spell here. Um, Anacromancy is a spell. Oniromancy is a spell, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Our this is basically a Spellatel Gourd list. Um, Gord got nerfed, I think it was like a while ago, it's like a long time ago now, I think. That, you know, he's now capped at only 12 boost. Boost cannot exceed 12, so that means that um, even if we play like a lot of spells, it doesn't, you know, it, it's capped. And I've tested out before, if we manage to get our hand perfectly, um, Orb of Insight into uh, Elven Seer, all of our Orb of Insight to Elven Seer, uh, we use Heat Wave, Double Only Romancy, Fun a Day, uh, Simlas into four waylays. Um, we could boost Gord um, by something like 15 or 16, 17, but you know, it's capped and we don't really lose that much boost, only like five boost here. Um, yeah, it's, it's overall, I think Gord is still a very um, viable pick for Spellatel, like 15. Points for seven provisions. I think this is really good, especially it's uh, 15 points on deploy, which you know, understandable, understandably very good. Uh, we're running, we're running necromancy here because necromancy is a spell, and it could be used to revive Elven Scribe or Elven Seer, which I think is a really good bronze. Um, using necromancy on Elven Scribe essentially translates to um, this is gonna get boosted by six, so that's ten. So you know. Um, 7 provision for 10, it's kind of like not the best, 
but the main idea is we want to use it on an elephant seer for example um, we have elephant seer on graveyard and one herb of insight with just one um, one counter left and we could immediately use um, we could just use necromancy into immediately um, getting the orb of insight value to a elven seer and i think that's really decent play really really good and yeah we're running a mushy truffle here i think mushy truffle is uh kind of like necessary for an alzer's deck because you know you usually if you play orb of insight and if you have alzer in your hand you can't really tutor from on romancy um and since you can't you can't really tutor him with on romancy you're gonna be forced to play him from a hand and without mushy truffle you can't really trigger alzers in one turn which is really bad because usually opponents is gonna answer it and we're gonna lose a lot of value from alzers so yeah i think uh, mushy truffle is just really good and yeah i think that's pretty much it for the deck introduction um for the bonded units i chose to play uh Friday officer even though it's only five points when you play this guy alone instead of the um i think it, it got reworked um dryad grove keeper this used to be um i think um uh, haka marauder the ability got changed i got reworked not reworked it's just um get swapped i think and now um, this is bonded deploy gain vitality to bonded gain vitality by four instead so instead of using the growth figure uh growth giver i chose to um run right head officer because you know it's vitality and with prism pendant and orb of inside i think we're gonna have a lot of vitality 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 and yeah i don't think it's really um necessary although we could um change one elfin scribe to a pillar. oh wait this deck doesn't run pillar oh gosh okay um <laughs> Let's change that. Um, so yeah, I think I used to run Peller. I cut it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now we change it. Uh, we run one Peller now to deal with something like Defender and um, self wound decks, or even you know one of our engines got locked. It's just Elven Seer. Like drawing Peller does not really feel this that bad this season. Although it certainly as it feels kind of bad, but sometimes i think pillar is a valid option here and yeah i think that's pretty much it uh, we're not really running any four provision uh, spell we're only running waylay here because you know we don't have the provision for pact even though it synergizes kind of well with elven seer like being able to play pact two times with elven seer giving this card an 11 for five value which is really nice and it's a spell um, we don't really have the cost for it, uh, we don't really have the provision for it, and, you know, we're already 13 units. We can't really go lower than 13 units, so um, we can't really max sacrifice. I guess we can change the Oni Romancy and the Johnny to something else. And, yeah, I don't, I mean, in this version, I don't think a Pact is really necessary, because most of the time we're gonna thin our deck to 5 cards, and those 5 cards could be just... Something like Peller, Fredhead Officer, um, and the Elven Scribe. Which I don't really mind. Yeah, not running Pact, it's not really worthwhile. This is a 4 provision spell. Not good enough. And yeah, we're running Master Crafted Spear here. I think 6 damage has become very necessary. <laughs> 6 damage is. Um, 6 damage could go a long way in some matchup. For example, um, against. Self wound, as I've said before, they're gonna play Canute. They damage it to five, and then we could just use Master Crafted Sphere to, you know, essentially just kill the Canute and deal one damage to another unit, which also could, you know, synergize really well with Prism Pendant because you know, uh, with one damage we're getting the six bleeding value, it is really really nice, and yeah. I think just running one master of the uh, master crafted spear here as a tech card could go a long way against something like even against Nilfgaard, guard we could remove one engine against um, NR Northern Realms so we could kill their um, Hansel, their Ballista, their Fortress Pride, their I think 
against Siege, I think most of the time we're just gonna use Mastercraft the Spear on the um, the Radovid, King Radovid, just to kill it. It trades down, but it's still a 6 provision card and a 10 provision card. You know, I think it's still worth it. Yeah, um, really kind of like scared to play Johnny here because we don't have any way to protect him. But I mean, just slam Johnny in there. Johnny has has not failed us yet in a spell, a spell attack deck. Johnny has always been good and I'm excited to see how he's gonna go. And yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it for the deck introduction. Running Heatwave, very standard, um, good control card overall. And a one Purify, Purify Defender. To purify one of our locked unit and yeah we'll see how it goes all right so first game of the day against oh pinster maneuver and r um very rare to see maybe they're um a priestess deck we'll see but they shouldn't have that much control over us oh the vanadine draw it's very good here with brockland sentinel too um i'm not sure about peller but they might play defender this might be the um, Meditating Mages deck. It's not good for us. I don't like two of these. I guess it's fine. What you got? Are you a meditating mages deck? Gonna boost it, eh? Oh, it's a priestess deck. Okay. Um, priestess deck against Alzers. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Wonder who's gonna win. Wait, what? It boosted its. Wait. Huh? Order. Draw up to two cards and shuffle the same number of cards. Whenever you draw a unit, boost it by one. If it's not a unit, boost up. It wasn't a unit, was it? I don't think it was a unit. Wait. <laughs> What's going on here? Don't really want to jam Johnny just yet. That being said, I what do I do here? Maybe I don't need the Pella, right? I guess it's fine. Just, just jam the Johnny, dude. Just, just, just jam the Johnny. Jammers. Gonna lock the Johnny. Oh. Very interesting. Muta Generator. Hey, I'm listening. Cool. So I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do here. They might just, they might be a siege deck, right? But am I really afraid of a siege deck? I don't think so. They're playing Roach. We got their heat wave. And they haven't played a single stuff from the Muta Generator. For the Muta Generator value. Which I'm really thankful. Okay. Guess we kind of don't need the um, Peller here. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna greet the um, the Ice Thread, right? They played Heat Wave, Muta Generator. Cool, Siege List. Alright. Yeah, I mean. Have fun, dude. <laughs> I think I'm fine with this. So they didn't click the ice thread. We got the carryover going. We still have Oni Romancy. We still have the Orb of Insight. They were pretty good. Pretty bing chilling. And I will assume they have Red of it. And I shouldn't use my leader charge just to get bodies on the board. I should use this to properly kill out their 
um, important cards. All right, Roach, Nickers, Mutate Generator, and an Uncollect Ice Thread. I think it's very good. And they haven't boosted, like their Priestess is not boosted, right? Oh God. This hand is all bronzes. It's not very ideal. Wow. <laughs> At least give me Arcane Tome. I could live with Arcane Tome. This is a bit too much. Alright. I think I'm just gonna use the waylay. Alright. I think it's worth it, right, to do this. Probably worth it. Alright. So, okay, that's the rat of it. Oh man, I really want to use my leader here. But the rest of our hand is kind of not good. I can't play some loss. I can't really play Arcane Tome either. We don't really have any target for Arcane Tome except Korathi Heatwave. Three damage. One, two, three. It's not good. I think we're supposed to lift this. Okay, I think I'm gonna play the Alzers now. I think that seems correct. They might be simply looking for a carryover play. Click, click. Alright, if you're using a resource to kill this, I'm not at all unhappy. So I'm pretty sure I'm using my Alzers now. Okay, if they have boiling oil when I play the elephant seer, it's gonna be really bad. Okay. So we're going a card down. Or are we? We could honestly just use the sim loss here. Dude, please don't have boiling oil. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Or I could just use the leader charge. Okay, so how important is leader charge? There is, we could just break. The, oh no, no. One of our Brockland Sentinel is at the most bottom, as well as I think Pallor.
This feels so bad. This feels so wrong. I think I'm kind of forced to do this. Pass. Okay, dude. Calm down, calm down, okay? I ain't no looking for trouble. I'm kind of scared of muzzle, so I'm gonna keep this. Don't really want to play the Orb of Insight. I mean, whatever, dude. Let's play the Alzer. Oh, wait. Squirrel is enough. Cool. So one of these. Thank you. Amazing necromancy value. Thing is, I'm kind of scared that we won't have enough value to compare with him once we play the Alzer. And that's really what I want to avoid. I don't really want to tempo right now. He's gonna play the squirrel first. Vanish whatever. I'm fine with going on even cards going to um this round i'm going to the next round because my hand is really not ideal more to charge because you know we can't play the simless uh it's not good No, don't eat it! Fuck, it's gonna eat. <sighs> Come on, mate. Why you eat? Wait, th was that? Did I? Wait, I fucked up. Holy shit. I actually fucked up. I have to play the waylay now because I boosted the freaking thing. I lost. Dude, come on, mate. Don't do me like that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I'm forced to play the waylay now. Whatever. Oh, I feel so bad. I mean, we could use the Oniromancy on the Elven Seer. I think that's it's very fair, I think. That feels bad though. What the heck, man? Alright. What is our out here? Uh, Arcane Tome is. Okay, so we ha it's we we never drew Peller and Waylay here, right? No, it's not Waylay, it's the Broken Sentinel. We could draw the Waylay here. Fuck. Okay. 
Uh, how bad is Prism Pandan right here? Average. You want the heat wave instead of this? I don't even know. <laughs> this. We could break the whale, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's like Prism Pandan for zero value. That's cool. I think it's Elven Seer, right? Instead of the Elven Scribe. They might have Muzzle. I don't, I don't know about Muzzle, dude. I don't know anything that has Muzzle in it. I, golly, I sure hope they don't Muzzle this. Because I'm going to boost it by... I'm going to boost it by two next turn. Golly. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're gonna boost at least like one of them with the Carcerin and all the extra boost here. It's not that terrible, right? Not that bad, guys. Come on. I sure hope they don't muzzle this. Golly, don't muzzle it, please. Oh, 11 damage. Don't kill this, please. Oh, kill the self and um, they made here please three damage oh three value we could get an extra three value is really nice so this one please swan six damage come on okay no way right no way right no way right okay one more okay we're safe so whatever oh we're getting the extra value very good nice all right, please at least spawn on the on the, on the side. This one's That's all I need. Oh. Okay. Oh, it came back. Nice. That's right. Oh, prison pendant value. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Now, 15 point gourd. Hmm. Wonder. Fifteen point gourd versus how many points traveling versus? Alright. Heat wave? If it's wave we win, right? I did play heat wave. Alright, let's see. Minus three damage, minus three points. Wait! Prison Pendant! Let's go! Oh my god, Prison Pendant! Actually, oh my goodness, Prison Pendant! Oh! Let's go, the bleed! I was so scared. I was so scared in round two when they started bleeding us. And thank goodness. Thank goodness. Like, I screwed up. Even I screwed up that part. Oh my god, with the rat and stuff, you know? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. If opponent decides to just throw us, we would have surely lost. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright. Very nice start. Let's move on to the next game. Alright, so moving on, we're up against... Ooh, Imprisonment. Um, okay, so... Something happened last game. Um, I... 
a cat on one game because you know we're, our draw is just so bad there and opponent's draw is just so good I, I was like getting really salty and i just had to cut the match i just had to cut the video <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't great so yeah okay so now we're playing against Nilfgaard kind of want purify in this matchup That's a purify. I think I want the Ozer. No need to boost this one because we're going to boost it with self. So do we play the south first or do we go the orb of insight first or we could also go in romancy right i mean not on romancy i mean necromancy doesn't really hurt us that much let's go necromancy do this so if they decided to kill one like they could they could yen this right which i don't really like but i mean they have joust in their deck i'm pretty sure They could even use invocation now. What? What are they running? I'm not really sure. Invocation this, that, this, this and that. Okay. It's very good for us. They used one little charge and um the thing. I'm not really mad at that. I'm kinda of fine. They played their rune mage, very cool. And they're using their stuff. They're giving us our value, which I, I really appreciate. I mean, I think they're like 
thinning their deck, but mm, I'm fine with that. I'm chilling. Use two little charge here or heat wave. I think heat wave is enough. Okay, Brethens. Wow. So we got their Brethens, which is really good for us. All right, man, I'm good with that. So we need to be careful about the, um, wait. Ah, stealing, stealer. Mr. Opponent here is a stealer, steals. Okay, that's fine. Now they have their carryover, but you lost a card. What? You just lost a card, Mr. Opponent. Oh. Why? 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 I'm sure there's gonna be like one more Rockland Sentinel here. How? How am I drawing this? I thought I used Vanadane to put one at the bottom of my deck. What is this? <sighs> okay, dude. Oh my god, what the... Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. What? <gasps> wait. We got... Wait, 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 what? Wait, Mr. Bernard, are you sure? I bricked. I bricked. I think... Like, oh, okay. Thank god. Okay, it's happening again. Mr. Fonin has given me um good stuff that I really appreciate. Okay, all right, dude. Yeah. Opponent, Mr. Opponent used to joust, therefore Johnny should be able to leave. I mean, we still can't mulligan all this away, right? It's... What? Okay, do we have a second target for... How is... How? 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 How is how 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 Okay, this is the point where most players forfeit, guys. Okay. Gwent, why Gwent? Why? Jan Calvit. Sort the cards in our deck from the highest to the lowest provision cards. Scoyatel. Bring into your hand all your brick. I'm. Um. I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. I don't know what to do. Game is fucked. The <laughs> I don't know what to do. Wait, he doesn't, he doesn't even have a lesson in his deck. Oh my goodness, what? This is a miracle. Dude, my hand was literally nothing. Dude, 
Let's do it right You don't have to. Dude, guys, this is a testament on never give up. <laughs> like, usually people would just forfeit there. But <laughs> Dude, if he knew what my hand was, he... I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. What? I can't believe it. I mean, usually it happens, but having it happen on stream, on like, video? Dude, what? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god, yeah. Guys, never give up. Gwent is fun. Okay, moving on to the next game. Okay, uh, moving on to this game. It's Arson Ritual, Self Wound. Which, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I tacked Master Crafted Sphere and Heat Waves. So, with this hand, I think I want to purify. I don't really want necromancy, this hand. We have a heat wave here with arcane tome. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow. What do I do here? Are we gonna with the muscle craft sphere? Nice. We have one mulligan fodder, which is really helpful. Okay, so I think I'm fine with going to a long round. I'm really fine. Because we have all the tech, right? We have Master Craft Spear, we have Waylay, we have Heat Wave with the Arcane Tome, and we have Only Romancy. So I think we should just develop our carry over here. Fine playing this. I think it's gonna be the Elven Scribe. What do you think, guys? Elven Scribe or Waylay? It's definitely Waylay. I can't really... Problem is, we're gonna put it on the bottom of the deck, and we really want Squirrel here. Like, with Mastercraft and Spear, we could get it with Arcane Tome, but this is one of our control. Oh, actually, we could just kill this with Mastercraft Spear, to the charge. And then we could banish it. Oh, I really like that play. Okay. So they're gonna be forced to rest that. Oh, they're not gonna rest it. It's very good for us. Alright. Squirrel, then. Wow! Wow, wait, what? We just got that for free? For free? Dead. Okay, dude. For free. Wow. Okay, then. I'll take it. Are they looking to pass? They look like they're looking to pass. Which I can just use only Romancy to tempo ahead. This is counter 2 by the way guys. It got buffed. South actually got buffed. It now counters 2 so we could immediately trigger it. And the turn we play only Romancy. The next turn we play only Romancy into a spell. And we could trigger it. How awesome is that? That's awesome dude. So we're essentially playing for an 8 for this turn. Amazing. And it also acts as um... Kind of like bait for um, squirrel. 
but I'm happy with just taking a pass here. I want to save Oni Romancy for something like Peller. Which, you know, we might just want. So obviously we have to mulligan away the waylay here. Thank god it drew the Peller. It's very nice. Out of here! Defender! Out of here! So I think you want to reserve um, on your romancy for something like Simulus. Okay. Don't really want to damage this. If I play the Prism Pendant here, I don't have any Dry Plus card. I guess I do. I could play on Neuromancy instead of the Mushy Truffle. I mean, it's fine I'm just using the Pendant here. Don't really want to damage this, right? Seems like a very not good thing to do. So this is also the power of Prism Pendant. This is an engine, a really good one, and it's only 6 provision for the value it's giving. So you know, you don't really have to commit that much to playing Prism Pendant, which I really like. just chilling here not really doing much and suddenly we could just boom 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 way late let's go all right easy heat wave out of here easy heat wave just like that out of here okay let me play the heat wave let me play the no not like this please Please, my connection! Oh no, oh god, oh no, like this man, what's going on? Is it because of the rain? Oh, it might be because of the rain. Dude, this is a free win, come on. Come on, man. After, this is not a good ending. Oh my god. Please. Okay, thank you. Thank god. Let me out of here. Okay, I was getting too cocky, man. Okay, please, not like this. Um, I'm so, uh, you guys can see, but I'm 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 using my backup. I don't know. Are we good? Are we good? We good? We good? We're safe. All right. Out of here. I won't even let him use his uh, Mardrome. I guess I could let him use his Mardrome first here, and then we could play the Fright Officer, and then we could play the Heat Wave. Don't need to rush it, guys. That said, he could just play Canute. Oh, man. Okay. Like, he could play Canute, and him playing Canute is not really ideal for us. Because we could use Fright Officer into. Oh, I don't know. Dude, I'm, I'm still with a lot of issue. My god. Please. Please, man. Please. Please. No! Wait. Wait. Oh, it's it's gone. It's done. Yep. Internet issue. Very sad. Very anticlimactic, if you may say. But I think it's gonna be it. This connection lost. It's still long. Opponent just doesn't press the GG button, I feel like. It's very unfortunate, but I think I'm gonna have to end the video here. Um, we had some pretty amazing moments, but yeah. Oh man, so unfortunate. 
So unfortunate. So unfortunate. But I mean, it's life. What can you, what can you do? We're only we only have 24 hours in a day, and um, it's, it's gonna be very unfortunate. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comments what you think down in the comment section below. And yeah, as always, uh, thank you so much for hanging around till the end of the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.